Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Well, you're also welcome back. It's lovely to have you back again. And I just wanna say thank you so much for sticking by me and supporting me all these months. So today I have a good one for you. Today, this is a tag video. It was tagged by and started by Fashionably Amy. I will link her down below. And it is five bags to keep forever and five bags that you would sacrifice for a greater cause. Oops. This is a difficult one. I have been down to the wire just before making this video. I've been trying to make the decisions, but I did it and I was logical, I was practical. I tried to be as much as I could. And I also think it's important to be a little bit strategic uh, if it is for a greater cause, whether it be for that unicorn handbag that you've always wanted, or maybe it's a new business venture. It depends on what you're trying to raise the money for. So hold on to your horses and let's jump in. So hi ladies and gents and whoever's joining today, thank you so much for being with me and thank you for all of you who have subscribed and helped me along on my journey. And I know there's lots of you watch watching out there that haven't subscribed yet, so go on, hit the little bell beside the subscribe button. I have lots of more great videos coming your way, lots of things that, you know, anybody requests me, I will do them and it would be a great help to me if you just hit a like, share, comment and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any videos. So I'm going to start this one with my five forever bags that I'm going to hopefully keep in my collection forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So there are a couple I think you're going to be surprised with and maybe there'll be a couple you'll kind of go, yeah, I kind of knew she was going to do that. So let's start with the easy decisions, which was the one I was going to keep because the hard decisions was the one I was going to let go. So I am going to start with this little beauty here, my Lady Dior in the mini, in the champagne gold hardware with the lambskin and I just love this bag. She's a little beauty, she's an absolute classic and I was lucky enough to find this bag in the exact spec that I wanted her in. I wanted the black lambskin, champagne gold hardware all over the studs at the end and she's just I just love this bag as I've said before and I'll link a couple of videos above you know it's just like jewelry this bag I mean the sound of her the little clanking and the way she looks she's elegant she's classic she's never gone out of fashion uh, Princess Diana herself loved the Lady D Lady Dior and uh, it was called after her and I have the one as you know with a little flap inside. This bag I'm definitely keeping and there's a few reasons why. Number one is because it is a classic and I just absolutely love her and I got her in the spec as I said that I wanted her in. Um, the Lady Dior's don't keep their value as much as the Chanel bags as we all know so sometimes you could find what you're looking for on the second hand market and you'll get a really good deal if you just keep searching but um, the reason I want to keep this one is because she's a classic because she's beautiful she, I'll always have the um, evening bag just to grab and go. This is my grab and go evening bag if I ever am stuck for a bag, which hopefully will never happen. And uh, yeah, I just think that this one will be my evening bag that I know is there and I know is beautiful. I know it's gonna go with anything, a suit, a dress, um, I could even wear it in the day with my jeans and I just think she's a classic. She's never gone out of fashion. And if anything, you know, she'll hold her value. She won't lose too much value, I think. And she's my first forever piece that I'm gonna keep in my collection. Moving on to my second piece, um, I just, I suppose, have to mention my little classic jumbo. She not so little, she big. <laughs> but this one is not going anywhere anytime soon for reasons of, well, the Chanel keeps going up in price, as we all know. I got this one in 2016 or 17, I think. It's in the caviar with the gold hardware, and I just love this bag. And again, I will be honest and say, I don't wear this bag that much, but as you know, in the last couple of years, all the mini bags have been in and the smaller bags, and definitely we are gonna see the return and revival of the larger bags and I will be pulling this little baby out. As I said, I'm gonna keep her because she is, well, she's an iconic piece. She's a classic, she's a dream bag and she holds a lot. She's in great shape. And as I said, the Chanel prices keep going up. So if I was to let this go, this is the double flap, as I'm sure most of you know, um, the double flap inside there and that's the way I have her packed. 
and she has the burgundy interior with my little Zumoni little organizers inside. And I just think, yeah, if I was to ever let this bag go and then had, you know, seller's remorse, which I'd hate to have, it would be very hard to get the bag I wanted in the spec again that I wanted without paying astronomical prices. These bags are now seven and a half thousand euro, as far as I know, on the um, to buy new. So I don't think I'm going to pay that out for a Chanel bag anytime soon. It was hard enough the first time. Thank God it was uh, a little bit cheaper than that when I bought it. But um, yeah, that for that reason, the classic Chanel handbag, and she is a hard to get piece. Um, you know, in, in the exact spec that you want. She's highly sought after, so she's gonna hold her value. The price keeps going up. And for those reasons, she's staying with me. And I showed you this little um, strap before that I got from the HRH collection on Instagram. I just love that, just for to add a little bit of, um, to update her a little bit and just to change her up to my style. So she's gonna stay, she's a keeper. And moving on to number three, I think uh, you might guess that I was going to hold on to this one. <laughs> uh, yes, my little Chanel Trendy CC in the small size in the beige colour is not going anywhere anytime soon either. For similar reasons um, as my Jumbo in that she's a classic. This is not in the classic um, section of Chanel as yet, but I think it will become a classic. She's a seasonal bag, but they bring her back every year, just in different colors. I just love and adore this bag, I really do. I think she's aesthetically just beautiful. Again, a very expensive bag that keeps going up in price. And again, you know, she's sought after. It would be easy enough for me to sell this bag if I wanted to sell it, but um, I just wanna hold on to her because I just enjoy, I enjoy this bag. I'm not getting as much value out of her this year. I don't think any of us are as I should be, but I intend to in years to come and please God next year. And as you can see on the top there, um, you have the Chanel beautiful gold bar and um, yeah, it, 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 it in itself is like a piece of jewelry. I'm definitely gonna be holding on to this one for years and years. I think it would be a beautiful bag. Like they're like heirlooms, the Chanel's, in my mind anyway. And I think it would be a beautiful bag to pass down to my daughter, Katie. And if she's not into bags, she is already, but if she is not into this bag, of course there's no pressure. She can do what she chooses to, or wishes to do with them when she gets them and uh, yeah, they're the reasons I want to hold on to this bag. Again, the versatility and the color of this can go, you know, spring, summer, autumn, winter colors. And I think she's just a real investment piece, as they say. We all know bags aren't investments, but a Chanel bag, they keep going up in price and I don't want to wait until I'm paying 10 grand for a bag. Now we're down to the final two keepers. Can you guess what they are? Can you guess? Well, this one. She's not going anywhere anytime soon. My Pochette Matisse or Pichette Mouti, as they would say. I just love this bag. It's a beautiful sunny day here, in winter's day here in Dublin, and when it's not raining, this bag will just come to the shops with me. It's a, you know, an errand bag, run around, do my chores. Haven't used or been using a different one at the moment. And uh, I just think this bag is a great bag and will be in my collection for a very long time. I think you'll be surprised anytime if you saw me um, selling the bag. Again, Louis Vuitton, are great pieces to hold their value. That is one of the reasons I'm holding onto this piece. She was a very, very hard piece to find. Um, if I had to sacrifice her, maybe I would down the road because you can get them easier now, but I have no intentions myself, hopefully yet, of having to let go of this bag. I think she's a beauty. I love her when I put the twilly on her. As we know, Louis Vuitton keeps going up in prices too. It's ridiculous, to be honest with you. I think the three or four price rises this year alone. So uh, yeah, my Pichette Batiste is not going anywhere anytime soon, even lover with the blue. And last but not least of my forever bags that I'm going to be keeping is... Da -da 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 my little mini. This is my Chanel mini in the rectangular in the chevron print. Now, I love this bag. Sometimes I look at this bag and I say, would I prefer it in the quilted? Actually, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I do love quilting, but all my other bags, all my other Chanel bags are in the quilt. So I got this one in the chevron just for a change. She's a little beauty. Again, I just added this strap for a bit of fun, but as you know, 
and um, you know I particularly like the Chanel because I'm taller and the strap on the Chanel is longer and better for taller people the square which I absolutely adore and I have also thought about you know do I prefer the rectangle or do I prefer the square I don't have the square would I change it out but the square would be very very short on me strap wise and I like to wear them cross body so um this bag was expensive enough they're gone ridiculously expensive I bought this one this one was 2019 and uh they are just gone this year. I'm sure you've seen the price hikes in the minis. So I am not selling this little baby anytime soon. I just love her. I've worn this like on lunch dates. Um, and I just really, really like the fact you can just throw her on. Off you go, throw your phone in, your little card holder, your little key ring, and that's it. You're just, it elevates your outfit completely. Again, in the Chanel rectangulars or any of the minis, they're hard to find in the spec that you want. They're very, very trendy at the moment, as you know, but they'll always be a classic piece. So for that reason, she's also staying. <laughs> so those are the five. And I do have a little honorable mention because I just, I just, it's very hard to choose. So I just wanted to give this one a little honorable mention and a little shout out because I just adore this bag. I have to say for anybody, any of you ladies out there or gents thinking of a Christmas present, I'm thinking of buying this bag. It is a stunning, an amazing bag. It is in box leather as you can see and I have to say there it isn't a mark, there's like a little dusk mark there I think, but apart from that not a mark on this bag. I love it. It's just robust and everything else and I just adore it and I just wanted to give it an honourable mention because I've carried this a lot, it fits a lot inside and she isn't going anywhere anytime soon either but let's not mention her anymore because we're only allowed to mention five so now for the fun part you're all dying to know which pieces am i going to let go if i had to by the way hypothetically they're not going anywhere anytime soon but if i had to and being strategic and being you know trying to be logical practical and go right now Viv listen you know you're either going for that Hermes bag and you have to sell three of your bags let's just pretend that is the situation or you're opening up a new business and I need the cash so strategically I would have gone for a couple of other bags if it wasn't you know um, if I was just letting them go and wasn't about the money but let's just say it's about the money I then decided okay so to raise the most money what's most sought after, what will sell easily enough, uh, the trendiest, and hard for me to let go, I have to say, and I think that's more fun to do rather than, oh yeah, I don't really like that one, let's let that one go. So a few of these are very hard to let go, but if I had to, these would be the ones that would unfortunately be on that chopping block. So we're gonna start with number one. And this is my Lockie BB. And I actually, it's kind of weird. I feel guilty kind of saying I'd let this one go because Katie adores this bag. And actually I was asking her her opinion and her advice when I was putting this video together. I was like, what would you? And she was like, well, you're not selling this one. And I was like, well, no, I know you love that one. And I love it as well. The reason I've chosen this one to let her go, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, Louis Vuitton holds their money and their value, should I say. And it, she would be easy enough to sell. She's brand new brand new condition I think I've taken her out once or twice I bought her brand new yeah I would get a lot of money back for it and they have gone up since I bought it I bought this bag I think in January or February and they've gone up a couple of hundred euros since that so for that reason and also for the reason that I haven't like I don't grab for the go you know I don't um, reach for this bag as often as I reach for some other bags even though I love it it's beautiful but if it has to go this is going to be one and I would get back you know, a good, a, a more than I paid for this bag. So that would be one of the bags that would be going. My second bag that I chose, and I didn't want to let this one go either. I just didn't. <laughs> but be a big girl, Viv, if you had to let go, because I have my trendy CC in a beige color, and that's not going anywhere soon, any anywhere, anytime soon. Then I decided, well, come on, Viv, be practical. You've two nude cream bags. So one really kind of has to go. And also YSL are trendy. They keep their value to an, a, an extent. Actually, I think this one has gone up a, a little bit since I bought it. It was 1,500 euro when I bought it. I think these are, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe 1,600 now. This is the small size in the Lou in the Lulu, should I say, and I love this bag. She's squishy and soft and beautiful, and I really love it. But, look at, 
you know, we can't keep everything. That's what this video is all about. So I don't, you know, I would wear this if I was going for a nice lunch. I wore it to a wedding. It wouldn't be a, you know, I reach for this bag every day of the week when I'm just running out. So for practical, logical and uh, strategic reasons, I would let this go. This would be my number two to let go for a greater cause. So I, with those two alone, we would be maybe two thirds the way, would we be two thirds, one third the way to an Hermes bag or whatever it may be. Maybe that big business venture you always wanted to go for. So number three that I have gone for is my Diorama clutch. Now, the reason I would let this go, again, a beautiful little bag, and I actually have grabbed this with my jeans and a t-shirt and threw it on as a little crossbody. This is a great little city bag, just flying around the place. The reason I would let this go is because I have my Chanel clutch, my uh, caramel one, and uh, I don't need two clutches, to be honest, and um, it's just my least favorite of the two, even though I do love it, but, and it's rock chicky, um, edgy, and for those reasons I love it, um, I think I would get, you know, at least the money I paid for it, I think I would get back. Because Dior can be a very trendy bag as well. This has been very trendy. Um, and once they start going out of fashion or kind of, you know, people aren't interested anymore. So it would be a timely uh, decision for this one to let it go as they are still at sought after and maybe in a couple of years they won't be. So that is the reason I would let this one go. Now, moving on to number four. If you can, my last two are a little bit of a shocker, even to myself. Number four, I went for my red Chanel. Now, I love this bag. I just love the yellow, yellow gold hardware on it. It is vintage. It is the uh, 24 karat gold hardware on it. I just love this bag, but if it was for a higher cause, I don't want it to go anywhere soon. I've said that before. I love the color red that it is. It's that kind of orangey red. I love it. But if it's for a higher cause, I just said, right, Viv, you have to choose one of your Chanel bags because if you were going to Hermes or if you were going for business, you have to sell something that's going to get you a good chunk of money back. And this would. Um, I bought it vintage, as you know, because you can't get these bags new anymore and I would get pretty much exactly what I paid for it back. So that would be, hmm, so we're probably like two thirds of the way to my little Hermes bag at this stage, and that's not bad. So that would be the reason I would let this one go. If it even is Hermes, to be honest with you, I know some people are like, oh, Hermes is my dream bag. It's not as much my dream bag, I'm just using it as an example at the moment. I actually really adore Chanel, to be honest. Out of the two of Hermes, what would I go for? Maybe a Kelly, I think. But I don't know if I ever actually even want one of those. I actually love my Chanel handbags. They're my favorite at the moment. Maybe I'll evolve and I'll one day want the Hermes and catch that bug. But um, even if this was to go towards my wish list of my Chanel 19, you never know. But this would be one, I think, out of all my Chanel's that I would let go, even though I would find it very difficult because it is vintage. It is the 24 karat gold hardware. It is red. It's a difficult one to find in the spec. Um, but again, we have to be strategic and we have to be practical. That is number four. Now, last but not least on the chopping block today is none other than my Speedy B30. Now, again, this was another one. I was like, no, no, when I was picking her up, I was like, no. But to be honest, I have to say, as much as I love this bag, I've used it twice. Uh, once it was to a fetch with my daughter, she desired dancing and I carried all her stuff on, in, on the inside. It was brilliant for that, to be honest. And, you know, maybe when she's back and we're allowed to do all the feshes again, I will use her again because it's great to carry stuff. But other than that day today, I'm not going to carry this. And even it is a great travel bag or a great overnight bag. But I have a couple of totes, my Alaya, you know, that one I've showed you before and um, that are great overnight bags. So, again, the reason this one would be going is because they really hold their value and... I would get every penny and more actually back for what I paid for this bag, as it is absolutely brand new, it really is. And uh, even the smell, oh my God, it's lovely. I have my little organizer inside and the banda or the strap. And unfortunately, this would be my fifth bag to go for my strategic decision, my LV Speedy 30. Do love her, don't wanna have to get rid of her anytime soon, 
But they are my picks, ladies and gents. And I'd love to know if any of you would love to do this video. It's a really fun video today to do. It really makes you think. Put your thinking cap on. Don't just pick any of your bags because I had other little ones here. I'll just show you, right? I just want to show you. I had this one. This is the Coach Tilly. And I wanted to choose this one. It would definitely be before a couple of the others. But the reason I didn't choose this bag, first, it was too easy and I wouldn't get as much money if I sold this bag. So they were the kind of decisions I went on and it's being white as well. I was like, maybe this would go before my YSL small Lulu. But I went with the YSL because I basically get more money for it. Another one I was thinking about was my Celine. Um, box bag and I have her there beside me but I just couldn't when it came down to it I was like no I can't let her go I love her so they I was really really um, honest and I was pretending to myself there was someone to actually coming to collect the bags and take them away from me that's how serious I took this mission <laughs> so I hope that helped you out and maybe you think I'm mad I'd love to know if you decide to do this video you're tagged and I'd love to know what your, your choices would be. Do you think I'm mad to sell any or to keep any or what your decision would be? And I hope you enjoy that. Until next time, we are getting close to Christmas. Uh, be kind, be safe, be compassionate. Love you lots, guys. Mwah.